So you struggle and then you shake and grunt and then it lets go and you slam your fist into something very sharp or hard or both. What is up everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome to another episode of Bird Down. So in today's episode, what I'd like to do is refer to the list because we've actually accomplished a few things over here on the Malibu. We'll check some things off and then there was something else I noticed obviously when I was working on it uh, that we have to actually add to the list. So let's kind of look at this thing, see where we're at and then decide what we're going to uh, play around with today. Let's make some progress. See what we got. Mother of all intercoolers is installed, cold side plumbing is good to go, fuel lines, you guys watch me struggle with that. So the Holly EFI I have to install that, and I do have a boost control Mac valve that we got. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys that or not, but that's okay. Uh, converter install, so on this one, I'm gonna do this last because I wanna have the car running and I have a buddy that has a lift. So we're gonna make life easy on that. So that leaves us with the head swap um, which I do have all the stuff to do that. So maybe we'll just do this today, pull it all apart. And then trans cooler. Um, I had it on there, but because of the intercooler, I have to relocate this and then let's do trans cooler and uh, overflow. And I got a new part over here. So let's go see what that is. All right, so we got all of this awesomeness from the swap mate. So my hood pin kit, because I don't have a latch anymore, got this for five bucks. Uh, these were three bucks a piece. I got a catch can. You always find these things. They're always like a million dollars. Um, this one looked like it may have been used or maybe just tossed around a bit. And this is how I bought it for five bucks. And then I got the filter for an additional three, I believe. Let's do hood pins. So we have all this stuff, but I think today, let's do the head swap. And then once the heads are in, we can go back to this. So we'll do this. Let's do four. And this one can be five. And this one will be six, seven, eight, nine. So let's do that. Huh, back to the hood. We gotta take this hood off. Here we go with this mess again. Huh. All right, well, man, so much stuff to take off to do a head change, but it is what it is. So time to rip this whole freaking thing apart, pull the heads off, and then I have valve springs for the other heads. So the other heads are in the trunk, and uh, might as well get cracking because it's going to take a while. Never fails when you're yanking on something and then it just lets go and you slam your hand or your knuckles or your finger um, into some sharp metal object, typically. That's my preferred uh, bolt breaking technique. So you struggle and then you shake and grunt and then it lets go and you slam your fist into something very sharp or hard or both at the same time. That's how I roll, yeah? That's how I get things done the hard way. All right, so with everything off, it's just the cylinder heads left in the engine bay. We stripped all this. This is all my big pile of parts and my turbos down there. Um, I left the exhaust just off to the sides. So I'll get the air gun out. We'll zip these things off. We'll throw those on the bench. And then what we're doing is we have to disassemble these heads because I need the little retainer that goes under the spring because I don't think I have it. I will double check before we go through all the trouble. So I gotta pull these heads off, pull these heads all apart to get those little pieces and then we will assemble the other heads 
and then hopefully stuff them back on. We're hoping to at least get the heads back on like it is now, and then we can start reassembly. So, huh, let's get cracking. All right, so at this point, I actually just shoved a rag under these two valves so that way they don't depress. Like these ones will just go down, see? These will all go down. So I stuffed a rag, so I'm only gonna do two at a time. And then these are the used valve springs that we're gonna be throwing in there. This one got chewed up a little bit on the edge, but the rest of them are all fine. Oh, that one got a little bit of action too. But um, yeah, pack 660s, like 400 pounds or whatever it is. I don't know what it says on here. So throw these bad boys on here and we're gonna party. So let's do it. Bad mamma jammas. Oh geez, it's that kind of party. Alright, so it's getting dark. I'm in the process of putting it back together using the same head gaskets I've reused a million times. I got them cleaned off uh, kind of as best I'm going to. I probably couldn't clean them more, but we're lazy. And then uh, I got some Permatex high tech gasket sealant. So we're gonna glue these bitches on there so hopefully it doesn't push them out under uh, boost. It's a just a stock MLS head gasket, nothing crazy. And we're gonna stuff the old head bolts back in too. So uh, let me glue this up, we'll throw this down. Watch me throw the heads on, and then uh, we'll zip the bolts back down. Got it. We're done. All right, we're gonna have the pro help me with the other side of this thing. We'll get some glue down on this, and then uh, throw it on the car. All right, professional, you ready? Yeah. Let me get my other glove. This thing's sticky. All right, grab that, and then paint this. Okay. You gonna let it rip? Bam, bam. Woo! -hoo. That's red. That's red. Don't paint your arm. All right. Bam, we're out of juice. Put some more juice on it. There we go. Happy little head gaskets. You painting, are you painting happy little head gaskets? Yes. Wes Ross, dude. My man. Let it rip. It smells good. It smells good? Yeah. Probably shouldn't be smelling this. It's probably not good. At least we're in a well-ventilated area. All right, a little bit more and then Daddy's gonna finish up, okay? All right, do this one last spot. All right, do it. Do it right here, and then you gotta go. My man. All right, put it back in there. High five. High five. Daddy, I will get a new glove. Okay, go over there, please. Let Dad finish up. This is stinky. Thank you, buddy. I can put this in the trash. Thank you. It was right there. Thanks, buddy. You see another bolt? What? You see another bolt? Yes, it is under this. This is not a bolt. This is a screwdriver. This is a screwdriver. I use screw it. Screw it, huh? Screw that. All right, those bad boys are in place. I'm gonna put the rest of the bolts in. We'll torque it down. I'll show you guys that, just so you believe me, because I'm like, oh, there's one bolt, and then I get a new set. No, we're gonna reuse all the old ones, so they're all right here. All these guys. And then, uh, they seem to have dropped one. I need to find that, but let me put all those in there, kind of zip them down a little bit. Okay, that was 40. We'll bring it up to 65, and then uh, tighten all the little top bolts after we're done. So, rock and roll. All right, well that is a wrap. Those are in 68. I went three pounds more than I normally do. I'll tighten all the little top ones to 22. We're gonna call it a day. If you like this, you wanna see this thing, maybe stay together, maybe come apart, maybe make some power, click, subscribe, like, share with your friends. I'm out.